Hi everyone, this is Helmut for Holden Resources, and we are going to take a quick look at the new frequency-based locks in the latest HRC beta version. Frequency-based locking is a new type of locking mechanism that's a bit more flexible than our old combo-based locks, and it also works after the flop. So as a first example, we're going to look at the button main raise, big blind calling, and then look at the c-betting of button on the flop. Uh, we right-click, frequency lock, and set up a new frequency that we want to see. In our case, let's select 33% instead of the original 55%. We click OK, and then recalculate that part of the tree. This will force the button to c-bet only 33% across all boards. This can uh, vary a bit board by board, but overall the 33% target is enforced. And we can also see this change in strategies is uh, propagated to the preflop nodes. So the big plant is now able to call a fair bit more because the button is c-betting less than free, uh, optimal. To understand what's going on there, let's look at the preflop node. And we're gonna lock the opening range of the button to 30% here. And we can see as soon as we set the target frequency, the edge setting jumps to automatic. And what this does is, once we run, HRC is gonna select an edge so that the target frequency is reached. So in our case here, this ends up to be around 0.1 edge. And what this means is hands with up to 0.1 will be skipped from the range, even though they are plus EV to play. So you're setting a positive edge for tighter ranges and negative edges for looser ranges. Uh, one thing to note here, uh, the range is optimized towards the plate frequency. So the actual frequency and the target actually match perfectly here even though the button only opens 29% of combos. Uh, the difference is due to card bunching from the earlier folds. If the button opens 29%, he actually takes that action 30% of the time. Uh, we can actually verify that using node details, line EV sampling, and get some details here. And we can see the race is actually played 30% as expected. Uh, Preflop, the most uh, important nodes to use frequency-based locking on are probably nodes with more than one action. As you can see here, there's a lot of, lot of uh, mixed strategies going on, and locking that manually would be fairly tedious. Uh, so this is where frequency-based locking can be really helpful. For instance, we want to see the small one calling 50% and only raising 10%. And we just enter those uh, targets and recalculate and let HRC pick the individual combos for us. Again, even though we are matching the target frequencies, the range percentages in hand combinations will be slightly off due to card branching. So that's normal and working as intended. If we want to re uh, remove a frequency lock, we right click frequency lock, reset, and hit OK. All right, I think this gives you guys plenty of new stuff to play around with and experiment with. I hope everything works as expected. If you run into any problems, let us know. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.